three years there. So, uh, yes, ECW, you're talking about Paul E. and your experiences with him at OBW. Before you go, let me just say this one thing. I say this about, like, the, the internet wrestling community just thinks Paul E. is the shit today. They think he's more the shit now than when ECW is in his heyday. But I always say, in the land of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. He's the only one with half a fucking clue. Right. So that being said, that's my shit. Go ahead. Well, no, I think there was just a natural conflict. I mean, that was when Cornette was on his way out. But Paul Lee was on his way mess. in, and then Danny was kind of there. You Cornette know? was kind of a mess when it came to the office, though. He didn't handle the office right. No, because Jim's just very stubborn, and he has his own yeah. vision on how this business is run, and I agree with a lot of, the, yeah. of his visions, but he just... You know, he's not really a politician. I mean, he can be, but I mean, he <laughs> he definitely, you know, he had, I think he was fed up with New York and he wanted out of there. So yeah, that's yeah. why he pitched Jim Ross and Vince on, you know, Danny was already running Ohio Valley Wrestling. Yeah, yeah. That's why he pitched a developmental there. They went yeah. for it. So he got to, he's originally from Louisville. Yeah. Still lives there, actually. Right outside of Louisville, right? Or Me and him, I, he just lived down the road from me. In Louisville, exactly. Yeah, in Middletown, okay. yeah. I could almost hit his house. Billy in, Joe's mom. His house on the rock, there. yeah. Mother, she's probably still alive. Billy Joe Travis's mom lived up there. He took us by there one time, and Cornette's house was over there. He, li Billy Joe's mother lived somewhere by you guys, but a really yeah. old, 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 old part of that community. Maybe, you know. Like old, man. Yeah. Beautiful old. But old. Yeah. Middletown's about 20 minutes outside of downtown. If, you're, if you surprised. take 64, like you're heading to Lexington, Middletown's the last exit on your way out of town. Yeah, because we were fucking around, had somewhere to go on a Wednesday, had to have been a Wednesday. I don't, I don't know when it was, but some, maybe it was a spot town up there by Louisville. But uh, I remember Billy's like, turn here, turn here, we're going to walk down Billy Joe's memory lane. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? It was fun. Well, I mean, you know, even after they fired Jim, yeah. He, yeah, a lot of people didn't know he still owned a piece of OVW, so he oh, had a yeah, yeah he had a vested interest in it. Did Whereas Paul a, Lee, just a comparison, Paul Lee obviously didn't have a vested interest. In it. He was just employee. brought in to book it. A WWE employee, right? Which I mean, Jim was too. But even after they let him go, they're like, "Hey, if you want to buy me out, you're gonna have to work those details out oh, because I still own a part of this." I'll bet you he still. Working. Well, he still, even after they fired him, he still owned it. He still got a cut of it, his his cut, for a couple of years before they sure. finally, I think whenever they parted ways with Danny is when they brokered the deal to buy Jim out. I'm sure that's what sure. happened. From what I heard, um, Danny got um, Jim, they played, they kind of ran an angle on the office. Mm -hmm. I don't know the details of it, but oh, the office yeah, actually yeah. fronted the money to Danny to buy out Jim, and then when they parted ways with Danny, Danny never paid WWE back on that, on the deal, so. That was an angle, or that was a shoot, or it was both? No, that's all a shoot. It was all a shoot, but they kind of worked an angle on the office to get WWE kind of jerky. Yeah, let's let's buy Jim out. We don't want we don't want anything to do with him. And Danny kind of primed the pump, I think. You know, he was in on it with Jim, so they got the money, to, the office friend of Danny, the money to buy Jim out, and then when they parted ways, I don't think Danny, Danny ever paid back <laughs> Vince. Oh, so but... Enter Paulie. Here's Jim Cornette. Here. Jim Cornette. Well, just Jim Cornette. I mean, it was he ran television yeah. and then book spot shows off of that. Did he? Uh, he ran a territory. It was a territory they ran. You Did know, he commentate too. Yes. See him unchained, not like at Vince, but him right. unchained. I think it's fucking mint. Yeah, I do. I love Jim. I, I mean, I, I love his I'm way on the spectrum. I'm definitely a Jim Cornette when guy. When they unchain him, his... when he's unchained, he doesn't have to adhere to any. Oh yeah, he's bullshit. great. Oh, fuck. He's great. And that's what he had down there. I mean, and, yeah. you know, the proof's in the pudding. I mean, look at the results. Look at the yeah, all, yeah. all the talent they yep. produce. I mean, it's the... And the draw, the way they drew. Yeah.